Hi friends, welcome back to API tutorial with Laravel 8. So in this video, I will going to show you how to get Laravel data from database through API and how to fetch any single record or you can say how to fetch record using the parameter from database. Last day, I have already discussed about how to get data from database through API. I am repeating that part if you not seen that video. So here is my Laravel application that is Laravel 8 and here is my project directory. So for database operation, first set up your environment. So I already set up my environment. So here I am using the database and username and password so my database name is laravel api tutorial so just log in into the php my admin and so here is my database so here i will create a table and insert some record and we will fetch that record through api okay so first let's create a controller suppose i am going to create a controller suppose my controller name is block okay so just use php artisan make controller okay so we need to add the make colon controller suppose my controller name is block controller okay so controller created successfully and if we go to your project directory and we can see so inside the app http controllers there is block controller okay and now i will create a model and we'll create a migration along with this so that a table will be generated so let's create so to create a model we need to use php artisan make model suppose my model name is blog and i will going to create a migration so use minus n okay so model created successfully and a migration is created so now go to the project directory and check this so inside the app folder we have models folder so here we can see the blog model and inside the database we can see a new migration that is create block table okay so this is the block create table migration so when we run this migration it will basically create a table the name is blogs and for table id it will generate an id that is that will be primary key and the timestamp is for to add the two columns basically created at and updated at and i want to create another columns suppose i want to create a column that is title that is uh, block title okay so use the string and here write the column name that is title and i will add another column that is table and this is basically the text type so i will write the text and we'll add the details okay so my migration is ready so now just migrate this so go to the terminal and just run the migration so php artisan migrate okay so block table migrated so now go to the database and check so here we can see the new table is added it is blocks table so if you go to the structure we can see the id title details created at and updated okay so just go to browse so now this is the empty and i will add some data into this table so i will not add data manually we will use the seeder and we will use faker to add fake data laravel provides a faker to use fake data so why not we use so just go to the database seeder section so here inside the database folder we have the seeder okay so basically database seeder class is responsible to seed in data and it is the default database seeder class and we don't need to create this so add some data into the block table using this class so here i will use faker to insert fake data so use faker factory 
as figure okay and using the figure class we will add some data so just take a variable that is faker variable and here i will call the faker and to create we need to use the create and here i will add the multiple data so i will use the loop that is i am using for each loop and inside the for each loop i will add the range suppose 1 to 10 that means i really want to insert 10 record as index and after that we need to call the db so here i am using db so we need to call this db okay so db and i need to provide the table name so my table name is blogs so write the name here and i want to insert some data so call the insert method okay and inside the insert method just create array and add your column so here my column name is title and here i will use the faker name okay so basically it will be save the blog name and another column that is details okay so details and here add the faker so basically this is the text so here text suppose i want to add the 400 characters so just add this and now go to the terminal and run php artisan db seed okay so database seeding completed successfully so just go to the database and refresh the block tables so we can see there are 10 records which are all are fake so fake records inserted successfully so to fetch a record from controller we need to go to the controller that is block controller and we will fetch a record using the models so first use the app models so here write down use app models and name of the model that is block okay so here just create a method to fetch a record so i am creating suppose public function get block okay and here just add the variable that is is block equal to block that is the name of the model and here we'll use the all okay so using the all will get all records from the block and after that just return the block variable okay so basically this function will return all the records from block table so now go to the routes so i am using the api so just go to the api routes so here is the routes and it is the api route so first we need to use the controller okay so just use app http controllers okay and after that the name of the controller that is block controller and here we will create a url for this function so just add route and get here i will use the get request so get block okay and after that name of the controller that is block controller colon colon class and after that we need to provide the methods name that is gate block okay after that semicolon so using this gate block we'll get all records from the block table okay so this is our url so just go to the postman so we can test our api so just use 127.0.0.18000 and after that we need to use api and the url okay so this is the gate request so as we are create the gate so just 
this is same so just click on the send button okay before that we need to run the server so to run we need to use php artisan serve okay so application is running so just click on the send button so here we will see the all records is coming okay so in the json formatted so this is the raw data and this is the json formatted data so we can understand how to get record through api so now i want to pass id here suppose i am passing the id 2 so it's showing the error that is if we go to the preview we can see the 404 not found okay so why it's coming because in the routes we not used any parameter so we need to add a parameter here so using this parameter route will accept this id okay and pass this parameter to the block controller so write it here dollar id okay and change all to the find okay and pass this parameter so if we just go to the postman again and pass this id we will fetch the record for id2 so it's the id2 and if we want to fetch record for id5 we'll get id5 okay and in that case now if you want to fetch all list so it will show the error that is not found okay so how we can make a parameterized routes so just very simple so just write the question mark here and define a null parameter here okay so if any value comes in this id it will treat as the id or by default i will pass the null okay and we need to add a condition and so if anything in id we need to write the find query here okay or else we will call the all okay so just write a call here and now if we go to the postman again and write the gate block we'll get all records okay so all records and if we pass any parameter that means i am going to find the id for five so we'll pass this okay so in a single routes we can use in both way so that's all about api get request using the laravel if you have any queries about this video please comment in the below comment section next day we are going to learn about post request okay so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video bye bye